A Golden State squad coming through the tunnel earlier with the Warrior faithful anxiously awaiting their arrival on the floor. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Press like a pro. There it is, the Ferry Building in San Francisco, just down the road from our broadcast setting tonight. Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, for the Golden State Warriors, making five straight finals appearances took a toll, mentally and physically. The Warriors played the equivalent of an extra full season in those five straight finals runs. Injuries derailed their title hopes in 2019, and they're still recovering. But Kevin, they are certain that their championship window remains open. DA, they got a lot of pride there, there's no doubt, and rightfully so. Thank you. And here in January, a few teams starting to solidify their spots in the power rankings. Others, uh, not, not so much. You look at the Bucks; they're stuck in the same spot, still outside the top three. Well, right now for the Warriors, they win one, they lose one. Uh, they think they're going in the right direction, then they seem to take a step back. It's been a season of inconsistencies so far. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. And it's Lopez in at the center position. And for the Warriors, Green down low with Looney. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. And it's Wiggins in at the three, the small forward. Well, Milwaukee is exactly what a small market success go. story looks like. Yeah, you know, a great eye for talent and also some good fortune in landing a player like Giannis in the draft. And small market teams have to home grow their superstars. Then they made smart moves surrounding Giannis with talent and an outstanding coach. The front office deserves Buku credit for how they've turned this team into a finals contender. Four on the clock. Ludzo passes to Lopez. And no good. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Here's Wiggins. Lopez with the block. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. Curry on the wing. He's covered by Matthews. The shot by Curry, no good. And so it's Bledsoe. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Over Thompson. Here's Lopez, banked in off the glass. A, a guy that doesn't give up on the glass. Lopez, a real force at rebounding the ball. Curry dishes to Green. Back to Curry. This one for three. Looney passes to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Fast break, here they come. And it's Bledsoe. That time on the assist by Middleton. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Wiggins. And the rejection by Giannis! The 10-footer. And it's Looney with the rebound. Warriors have gone 0-4, missing their first four field goals here. Here's Thompson, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on Chris Middleton. Man, Thompson is phenomenal as a two-way player. A knockdown shooter from everywhere, challenged or unchallenged, and he defends at an elite level, too. This is his first free throw of the game. And examining his numbers this season, we can see that he's been an exceptional free throw shooter right around 85. You know, there's been some improvement in his free throw shooting this year. His percentage has taken a little jump compared to last season. That free throw good from Thompson. Like right around the halfway mark and some players starting to feel a little bit beat up. Uh, taking those bumps and bruises. Is it hard to decide 
which injuries to play through versus the ones that make you sit and miss a game? You know, I don't think so. If you're a younger player, it may be a little more difficult, but as you've spent time in the league, you know your body. You understand what's an ache and a pain and something you can play with or an injury that really hampers you. So I think as you mature in the league, it becomes much easier to know what's an injury and what's something that you can work through. That word tolerance becomes very important, doesn't it? Yeah, and everybody's a little different in that regard, Kevin. Some guys have a high tolerance, others have a low or moderate. But again, it's about knowing your body. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Bledsoe following the basket by Stephen Kerr. Bledsoe outside. Loads it up for Giannis. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And Anna de Kumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. Thompson outside. Wiggins against Middleton. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Chris Middleton. Well, you know, it's not been easy for Andrew Wiggins the last few seasons, guys. The production has just fallen short of expectations. He was the number one pick back in his draft class and really has struggled to live up to what the fans have expected him to be. The first free throw is good. And with Wiggins, he's clearly a talented player, Clark, but people just want more from him. Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin, and a lot of it is a matter of consistency. And when the expectations are high, being a former overall number one pick, that pressure can affect you. But I think if Wiggins can just lock into being consistent, all of that will subside. He's off on the second. And, you know, it's amazing when you look back at the Andrew Wiggins-Kevin Love trade. Safe to say now that... I think both teams really got what they wanted out of it. And so Andre DeCumbo will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. What a duel that was. Exciting all the way to the end. Really a shame someone had to walk away with an L. I tell you, it's too bad one of them had to lose because I thought both teams were evenly matched in that game. Now here's Andre DeCumbo. After the miss from Clay Thompson. Wiggins against Ana de Kumbo. To the middle. Here's Lopez. And a great assist by Ana de Kumbo as that one goes in. Gotta love seeing Giannis move the ball. Not just a score now, but a capable passer, too. Curry against Bloodsoe. And there's the pass to Thompson. Green left side. Shot clock at six. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Here's Curry. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. Boy, he was piling up those assists in that one. I mean, every pass seemed to be on time and on target. At the Takumbo finds Williams. Back to Anadokounmpo, passes it to Lopez. And he gets the whistle, two free throws coming up. And the fun-loving personality Lopez has makes him a likable teammate. It's clear that they love playing with him. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bucks. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. That one is off. Second free throw, good. Last game for the Warriors, it was a loss to the Kings. 
they've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Top of the key, Looney. On the wing, Wiggins. Just five to shoot. Curry is inside. Guarded by Bloodsoe. The shot by Curry, no good. Giannis right side. Green with the block. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame would lead you to believe. The Warriors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And that one falls for Looney. one falls so he hits both of them Bucks leading by three here's Matthews here's Lopez on the dunk by Lopez it's seven feet tall dunking is very easy for Lopez once he's this deep the defense is in trouble now here's Curry and get a load of his scoring totals huge numbers for him an average of just about 29 points a game. Here's Wiggins. Six to shoot. Just his first attempt. That one a little long. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And um, they look strong here in the early going. Now, here's Matthews. Following the miss by Draymond Green. Green against Matthews. Curry with the steal. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And Curry is so impressive. His peripheral vision is what makes him unique, in addition to his ball handling skills. He does a nice job setting up his teammates and knows how to get them the ball when they're open. Bucks leading by three. Here's Giannis, and the dunk by Giannis. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Now, here's Curry. Pass to Thompson. Now, here's Green. Just five on the clock. Here's Curry. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got six rebounds now in the game. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Looney. He's guarded by Williams. Looney with the bucket. Staying alert and aware. Wiggins sees his man flash to an open spot. Passes right on the money. Now here's Matthews. Bloodsoe outside. Wiggins with some nice D. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. 
And you look at the development of how Clay has attacked the rim over his career. What was once a weak spot for him has now become a strength as his finishing improves every year. The Bucks making a switch here. Lopez, he's checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for Williams. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Wesley Matthews. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. You know what, Greg, you're right, thinking back to Thompson, he had his early struggles at the rim. And that's a distant memory for Clay now. I mean, he's dunking more often and with more force when he goes at the rim. It has made him an even more complete shooting guard. Now, here is Hill. His last outing, he had eight points. And we'll take a look here at a very skilled bunch of point guards at the stroke. Look at the numbers they put up over the last 10 games. Fifth, George Hill. Well, if these guys can get to the line, there's not much question what the outcome's going to be. So it sort of prevents the D from being as aggressive as they'd like to be against them. Yeah, because of their shooting ability, they get a little more space than the average point guard. Maybe they'll miss a shot from the floor, but if you send them to the line, those points are almost guaranteed. Both free throws good from Hill. Tell you what, George Hill is one of my favorite players to watch. A veteran point guard. He's bounced around a bit the last few seasons, but he gives you leadership, toughness, a cool demeanor, and he's one of the smartest players I've ever been around. Brings value to every team that he plays on. Bucks leading by four. Feeds it to Hatsutakumbo. And there it is for him. Hatsutakumbo's de Kumbo has got six. And with Hill, as you said, Clark, he's a perfect fit as a second unit leader. Yeah, I love the fact that George Hill really gives you everything you need in the backcourt. He's an excellent defender, makes really good decisions, can score the ball when you need him to. Um, he's ideal to come off the bench because he packs a lot of production into short playing stints. And a chance to take a look at some numbers for Giannis. And guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. Bowman, he's guarded by Hill. He kicks it to Thompson. Hits the three-point bomb. He's got seven. Gotta love the smooth shooting stroke of Thompson. Outstanding at shooting as soon as he catches the ball. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a three-point game. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors. Oh, what a play! Oh, Woo! <laughs> How about the flash by Antetokounmpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. And there's the feed to Thompson. And stolen by Ilya Sova. Now here's Korver. Defense is right there. It's deflected. And the Warriors can't hang on to the ball. Almost halfway through the season, let's check out the standings out west. We'll take a look at the Warriors. They're having a solid season. Fifth in the conference and looking to move up. And for the Warriors, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. You know, I thought maybe they'd have it in them to actually join those leaders this season. But you're right, it's still nice work considering where they are. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Bowman, he's guarded by Hill. Here's Chris. No good, shot missing. The Bucks go the other way with it. Here's Giannis. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. 
Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. Launches a three, and another three for Milwaukee. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Warriors trail by 11. Bowman, he's guarded by Hill. Bowman passes to Thompson. Here's Chris. To halt the run, it's hauled in by Ilias Hobo. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. The free throw drops for Hill. Well, George Hill, the veteran guard, doesn't produce at the volume he once did. Still, he brings a lot of value to a team. Both free throws good from Hill. And for Hill, Greg, he's a great veteran leader who brings value to a playoff-bound team. You know, Hill has a game that is effective even when he's not scoring. Uh, his leadership and defense will make him a welcome addition to any roster, even as his numbers fade. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. There's 138 left to play in the first quarter. Bowman, he's guarded by Hill. Thompson in the corner. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 14-5 run here. Now, here is Hill. Defense right on him. 104 left to play here in the first. Five on the clock. The kick out to Ilyasova. And again, the Bucks miss. Warriors trail by 11. Here's Poole. Nine point game is last outing. And he gets the whistle for the three second call. Milwaukee's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Outside Hill. 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Giannis. Good, the assist goes to Hill. And that's 13 points for Giannis. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Giving up too many open shots. I mean, that's what's happening here, Greg. They, they look to me to be a bit sluggish. There's the pass to Thompson. Pass goal, the pass to Bowman. Thompson outside. And the three off target. The three from Korver. He's off on that one. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all, and he looks to be planning for more. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. One of the most demonstrative players in the game, Draymond Green speaks about the importance of passion and effort on defense. That's all defense is. It is effort. It's the effort to want to communicate. It's the effort to take that one extra step to help someone. It's an effort to move up one step to get into the ball as opposed to sitting off the ball. Well, and he should know a former defensive player of the year. You know, he just takes pride in being their anchor defensively. And if he's not seeing that effort, he's going to let you know about it. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And quite a position here for the Bucks to be in. What do you think, guys? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, Ilya Sove at the four with Lopez at the five. Kyle Korver is out there with Hill. 
And it's Middleton in at the small forward. That's a two from Korver. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Chris Middleton was a first-time All-Star in 2019. Now, we all know that Middleton is one of the league's best shooters, but he had to adjust his game to a new system under coach Mike Budenholzer. Middleton said, I guess that's what being an All-Star is, a team player and a complete player. Not playing for stats, playing for nothing else but to win. Kevin? First-time All-Star and well-deserved. David, thank you. That free throw, no good. Analytics, Clark, are such a major factor for coaching staffs and scouting staffs and plenty of microanalysis to go around. But some statistics can actually be a little bit misleading, don't you think? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. And you can torture the numbers to say whatever you want them to say. So you have to be careful. I think there's a great place for analytics in the game. It's very useful in some areas, but you have to balance it. There has to be a blend there. Take, for instance, shot block. Just because you don't block a shot, that sometimes can uh, dismiss what changing shots do to a team's defense or for a team's defense. Um, the number of threes being taken. Effective field goal percentage is more important than raw field goal percentage because of three. Outside Hill. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Middleton. That shot misses. Wiggins with some nice D. To the paint, smile again. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Milwaukee leading by six. Here's Hill. Makes it off the glass. Hill's got six. Terrific speed and understated athleticism from Hill. I mean, all he needs is a little room to attack, and then he'll exploit it with fervor. Here's Poole. It's stolen by Hill. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. So both teams changing it up here. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. He kicks it to Bloodsoe. And here is Lopez taking a look at his stats. He's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Back to Bloodsoe. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. You've got to be uptight on Bledsoe, right in his face. I mean, can't give him space to get that floater off. Curry passes to Wiggins. Down low, smile Agich. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Hill dishes to Lopez. The Warriors pull it in. Looney's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Curry and Steph Curry with the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. The box also changing it up. Lopez, he's checked in for Lopez. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for George Hill. Bloodsoe outside. Passes it to Lopez. Lock at six. Let's it go from the wing and off the front iron, and in it goes. Lopez has got nine. A legitimate threat to score from the mid range. Lopez is skilled at cashing in from that area. On the wing, Green. Back to Curry. On the wing, Wiggins. And the Warriors tack on two more. 
Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Bledsoe looking around. Outside Williams. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Matthews, no good. Warriors trail by eight. To the inside, Looney, and he goes in for the dunk. And how about the decision-making of Curry? Not just a go-to scorer, also a skilled orchestrator who picks the defense apart with his passing. Outside, Matthews. tipped Curry with the steal lays it up and banks it in now just a four point Milwaukee lead boy Curry's so quick so crafty I mean his combination of craftiness and quickness is really hard to contain and so it's Bledsoe with it bringing it up for the Milwaukee Bucks 13 points was their biggest lead in the game Inside Matthews. Inside. Here's Middleton. You know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. And the basket by Curry. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. What's up with it? He's coming off a 16-point game against San Antonio. And even if he took away his points, he was still an offensive force because of his passing. His assist numbers were tremendous. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Green up on top. Back to Curry. Shot clock at five. Here's Poole. Misses the three. Bucks leading by four. Middleton looking it over. Bloodsoe outside. Draymond Green pulls it in. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. And the call will be against Robin Lopez. That's his first foul. Antetokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks. Pass to Poole. Over Middleton, and Poole gets it to go. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Bloodso against Curry, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Six points for Eric Bloodso. Strong and compactly built. I tell you, Bloodso's tenacity overpowers some of his defenders. Warriors trail by four. And since coming to the box, Eric Bledsoe hasn't been asked to do nearly as much as he has in the past. And for Bledsoe, that is a good thing, as he is best as a complimentary player. Not scoring as much, but his decision-making and shot selection have vastly improved. You've really got to tag Middleton in transition so you have a chance to get in front of him. You know, his speed and athleticism, a lot to deal with if you aren't concentrating on getting back. Wiggins against Williams, and that one drops. Wiggins has got his second bucket of the night. And boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shot's now starting to fall. Knocked loose. There's the lob at the Kumbo. And it's easy to see by Ante Takumbo's performance tonight. He can flat out dominate games at times. Warriors shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. 
Curry looking it over. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Williams kicks to Bloodsoe. 13 feet away. Trying to get open is Lopez. The shot by Williams, no good. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Poole, the pass to Looney. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Yeah, it looks like they've gained a little bit of confidence as the lid has come off the hoop. Giannis left side. Fader on the way. It's rebounded by Golden State. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Clark, among the bigs, which one do you think runs the floor the best? Boy, I tell you, Anthony Davis is gazelle-like, and this guy is north of seven feet tall and is just agile and quick in getting up and down. I think I'd put him at the top of the list. Clint Capella is in that category, and Giannis Antetokounmpo as well, but a lot of times he has the ball and is taking it rack yes, to rack. he does. Brings it up like a guard, and no one can stop him. <laughs> Nobody can stop that guy when he gets coming downhill at you. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Ilyasova, he's checked in for the Bucks. Corver comes in for Marvin Williams. He's perfect from the line this time. Milwaukee in the lead. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. Now, Corver. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Giannis. It's tipped, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. So both teams making some changes here. Golden State's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Curry passes to Thompson. Now Chris. Over Ilya Sova. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Pass to Ana de Kumbo. Here's Lopez. Outside for Korver from downtown. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Korver's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Hill against Curry. Wide open look, and the shot is good. The Bucks lead has been cut down now to just three on the bucket from Chris. Excellent feed from Steph Curry. Hill deciding where to go with it. Thompson comes with the double team. Lopez inside, working on Chris. Outside for Corver. Six on the shot clock. Here's onto Takumbo. Second chance shot. And the pass to Hill. But Trey got a piece of it. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. They've got to get back to that. Don't go away from that. It's been working so well for them. Stay with it. The Warriors have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. And typically a strength of theirs, 79% on the season. And this year they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. And that one misses. Milwaukee making a switch here. Matthews has checked in.
Good on the second free throw. Here's Hill. He's got six. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the half. Passes it to Anadokounmpo. And Anadokounmpo slams it in. Boy, for such a young player, the razor-sharp focus of Anadokounmpo really impressive. I mean, a muscular guy who still makes baskets despite getting into the process. He's not wide, but he is muscular. And Clark with Giannis, you could see the change in his demeanor last year. You know, he knew he was unguardable when he was on the floor. Well, guys, you know you're special when you can say nobody can stop me and the general consensus is you're right. I mean, I can't think of any player in the NBA that's really suited to guard Giannis with his blend of speed and strength and ball skills. That guy handles the ball exceptionally well for a big man. No good in the last second attempt this time. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Bucks lead by two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Coach, your guys are playing aggressively at the defensive end and sharing the ball offensively. Have you been satisfied with the effort so far? Well, I think just defensively, we need it to be a little bit better. I think our pressure... Um, hopefully created a little bit of turnovers, created some tough shots, and then offensively, they're getting into us. We want to drive it and uh, continue to play with the pass. Always moving that defense from side to side. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. It was a big-time first quarter for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 18 points, three assists, and eight rebounds. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball, and that means playing with poise, making good decisions, and not giving away any possession. They did a great job of that in the first half. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? They were strong in transition. Seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they wanted to play an outstanding game. They can keep it up in the second half. They may wear the other side out. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. That'll be a five-second call. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. You take a look at Thompson, and it's him all alone atop the voting. It's pretty much a done deal that he'll be showing off his long-range skills in the three-point contest. Yep, and, and he's going to be scary to have to go up against if he's on that day. Nobody can shoot it like he can when he gets in a groove. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. 
We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, and I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent, precision, and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. Here's Giannis. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Really enjoy watching Antetokounmpo show off his toughness. I mean, he's not a real thick guy. Long, angular, and muscular. And much tougher than he looks. That's why I think he's able to overpower defenders at times. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Green down low with Looney. And it's Wiggins in at the three slot. That's the Warriors' five. And so it's Milwaukee now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. They're in the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. Curry on the wing. Guarded by Bloodsoe. Pass to Looney. Back to Wiggins. Here's Curry with the three, and Draymond Green picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And Kevin, the three ball of Curry deadly. I mean, you feel like it's going in as soon as he lets it go, no matter where, at what angle, or how deep. And so, onto Dakumba will bring it up for Milwaukee. The lead is two. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. And Looney sends it back. With a tie, a shot by Curry, no good. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. When he keeps his emotions in check, Green is a fantastic leader on the court. He can run a little hot, but there's no doubting his drive, his willingness to do whatever it takes to win. First one at the line is good. Clark, you were so prolific in so many areas of the game. Which part of basketball came the easiest for you? I think the rebounding piece. I always had a knack for sniffing out missed shots and had the size and timing and hands to chase down rebounds. But that was probably the strength of my game and the most unique part of it at an early age. And then the ball handling. My dad was 6'4 in the 50s, which meant you pretty much played inside. And he drummed into my head in my heart make sure you can handle that ball so from the time i started playing i was dribbling and making sure i could handle it and it served me well during my playing career you know it hasn't been his best outing but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here lopez with the block and the space lopez is able to cover on defense using that size and length to reject the shot and Draymond green picks up the foul that's his third foul of the game Middleton outside. Now here's Bledsoe. He has six. No one did that time either. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Thompson. Curry's got the lead up to one now for the Warriors. The Bucs have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half for two of eight. Bledsoe kicks to Giannis. A three from Matthews. Connects from three-point range. Matthews has got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Bucks. The Warriors have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Higgins outside. On the wing, Thompson. Shoots over Matthews. Thompson misses. Milwaukee's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. No good from Bledsoe. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this court. Man. 
to the middle. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Now it's a four-point Milwaukee lead. He seems to have just lost his touch. Only one for his first five here in the quarter. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And, and you know, you see it every day, but it still doesn't make it any less impressive. The amount of skill that Steph Curry has on the floor, the shooting, the passing, the agility, he has it all. That's good from Stephen Curry. You could argue Curry is one of the most skilled players of all time. The shooting alone puts him in the conversation, and very few can match up to just that. Guys like LeBron and Wilt dominate with their size and athleticism, but Curry is an all-time great because of his once-in-a-lifetime skill. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. Another shot. And it's Lopez laying it in. Lopez has got 11 points. And at 277 pounds, Lopez absorbs contact well. Difficult to deter him on the way up. Outside Curry. And he hits the jump shot. Curry's got nine points now in just the second half. Milwaukee's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Pass to Giannis. Andrew Wiggins grabs the board. Wiggins has got six rebounds here tonight. Curry's shot is good. And you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. And so it's Budso. He brings it up for Milwaukee. The pass to Andre Kumbo. Lock at six. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And the dunk by Lopez. You know, Bledsoe has developed his passing skills to the point where you've got to respect that part of his game. He's doing a nice job finding his open gaps. Curry finds Green. To the paint. Lopez with the steal. To the inside. And to Takumbo. And the slam dunk by Hunter Takumbo. And Giannis out of the Kupo has some major hops. At almost seven feet tall, he makes it look effortless. Pass to Looney. A second chance effort. He feeds it to Green. Over Giannis. And it's Green missing. And the D does just enough to throw off his rhythm on that shot. They get a bet. Tries again. There's the steal. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And that run is off. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. The shot by out of the Kumbo. Nobody around. Here's Lopez. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. And it goes on Draymond Green. The massive size of Lopez just puts defenses in a pickle. Well, when he's that close, you, you just have to foul him. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Marvin Williams has checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Hill in for Wesley Matthews. Pass to Chris. Higgins outside. From outside the arc. Hill pulls it in. Bucks leading by six. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. Here's onto Takumbo. Here's Poole. Five points in the game. That one goes in. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Here's onto Takumbo. And the dunk by Giannis. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. On the wing, Wiggins. Pass to Poole. Fires for three. They get it again. 
Smile a geach. Chris, it's good on the putback. And how about the timing on the backboards there from Chris? Has the size and quickness to be a problem. Ludzo passes to Hill. Here's Hansa Takumbo. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a moment here to look at the numbers for Curry. Second in scoring, 10th in assists, and he's a defensive ball hawk. You can't let your guard down. Remember, he's 10th in the league in steals per game. And what he's doing right now, carving up defensive schemes at will, second best score in the league, it's just a marvelous thing to watch and appreciate. And he makes the first. Well, you know, it's hard to overstate the impact that Giannis has on the floor with his play. I mean, he gives you so much at both ends of the floor, offense and defense, and really draws a lot of attention from the opposing team. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Lopez comes in for Robin Lopez, and it's Ilya Sova in for Williams. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, one of the things that teams are more aware of in the age of analytics is the importance of sleep. And those teams are making adjustments. Morning shoot-arounds have been moved in some cases to the afternoon or eliminated altogether. There are many fewer teams that are taking red-eye flights across country. And some teams even give players orange-tinted glasses to encourage them to sleep. There's a lot of work to be done in this field, but the direction is clear. Continuing to evolve. All right, David, thank you. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Bucks. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. The efficiency of Giannis, Clark, that's just the icing on the cake. Yeah, I agree with you guys. For years, people were asking, how scary is Giannis going to be? Um, well... We got our answer pretty much in the form of he's a nightmare. On the wing, Wiggins. Count the basket. Wiggins has got seven points. Well, that was quality defense, but Wiggins showing off tremendous athleticism, able to overcome that defense. Here's Giannis. 26 points for him. Now the pass to Ilya Sober. Outside Hill. That shot, no good. Wiggins with some nice deep. And it's the Warriors on the break. Wiggins with the ball. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First one falls. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. And so he makes both from the line. And so it's Budso. He brings it up for the Bucks. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Sweet little floater. Bledsoe's got four points in the quarter. This is what Bledsoe loves doing. I mean, penetrating, probing, finding his way, looking to get close to the bucket. That's when he's at his best. Feeds to Wiggins. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Bucks leading by three. Giannis outside. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Oh, that's straight TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. I tell you what, you'd hate to be the guy having the responsibility of guarding him. 
Wiggins from outside. Milwaukee with the rebound. Outside Hill. On the wing, Giannis. One fifty-one left in the third quarter of the game. It's intercepted. Wiggins drives in. And it's Wiggins with the jam. What a play from Wiggins. Fantastic. And out kicking the defense off the dribble. Bang! Milwaukee's gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Well, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Steph Curry's checked in for the Warriors. And a moment here to see the standings for the Eastern Conference. And you know, guys, some interesting stories have unfolded here as we move through the middle of the season. Taking a look at Milwaukee. They're holding on to second spot in the conference. A great season for them so far. And I think for Milwaukee, they had a few critics coming into the season. And now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. They do have the pieces in place for a title run, but the competition in the playoffs will be stiff. Outside Hill. They shoot again. The shot misses. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Curry with it. He's picked up by Lopez. A three-pointer. Wiggins. Again, Wiggins missing. Bucks leading by three. Here's Giannis. That one good for two. Giannis has got 30 points. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Passes to Chris. There's 39 seconds left in the third. That one drops for him. That's their third straight make off an assist. And here's Bledsoe. He's got 10. Pass to Ilyasova. Giannis against Wiggins. Giannis dishes to Ilyasova. And it's blocked. Here we go, one on one. Curry against Bledsoe. Pass to Pascal. Outside Curry for the tie. Rebound Milwaukee. Eliasova's got six rebounds now in the game. Giannis on the combo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. Right back after this break. Let's listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team in the huddle. Let's be the one that just plays hard. Keep playing through it. Keep playing. Keep playing our game. Here we go. Mike Budenholzer laying it down to his good team, asking a little bit more from uh, the energy standpoint, more effort from his guys. Yeah, and I mean, I think he sees an opportunity for them to try and, and make a move here. Doesn't want to let that pass by. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter on the court for the Bucks. Giannis and Ilyasova make up the forwards. Hill is out there with Matthews, and it's Lopez in at the five spot. And there's the foul that goes on Ilyasova. That is his first foul of the game. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Chris Middleton's checked in for George Hill. Here's Curry. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. 
Yeah, how about the touch there from Curry? Just keeping control even while getting knocked around. One thing about Curry you have to admire, Greg, he never wants the spotlight to himself, even as a leader of his team. He always wants his teammates to shine as well. You think back to when Clay was trying to break Curry's three-point record last season? Curry was not only cheering for him, but actively setting him up to make it happen. That camaraderie Curry shows is why his teammates love him. That's good from Stephen Curry. Yeah, and the work they've done at the line has been impressive here in the second half. Outside Matthews. The pass to Lopez. The Bucks working the ball around. Out to the Kumbo. No good. The Warriors trail. Here's Green. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his third assist on the night. And it's official. They have come all the way back. At one point, this thing seemed to be out of reach. I did not think they had enough clock to get all the way back. But here they are. And now they've got to feel like they're in control of this thing. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Pass goal, the pass to Kerr. And that one hits back iron. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. That's exactly how you win a rebound battle. Get good position and then use your strength to hold on to that position. So impressive. The, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course and their attitude never changed. Ludzo against Green from 13. That one wide left. A, a little ambitious on that possession trying to hit a shot in the face of that defensive pressure. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Friday, they'll be playing against Lou Williams and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Sunday, they'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Memphis Grizzlies. And for that game against the Nuggets, I think it's going to be an interesting challenge. Even though they expect to come out on top, this could probably be a pick em game, depending on how they play. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Kevon Looney is checked in for Golden State. And so he's able to get one of two. Yeah, disappointing not to convert all of them, but he did get the one to give them the lead. Matthews scanning the floor. The kick out to Lopez. That three off the mark. The Warriors have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Thompson misses. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Back to Curry. Pass to Looney. Shot clock at three. Yep, that one goes. Looney's got the lead up to one now for the Warriors. Neither team here in the fourth generating a lot of separation. Yeah, it's been a close one. Five times the lead has switched hands thus far. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Sometimes it's a real trick bag trying to guard onto Takumpo. I mean, his skill set and build and length and athleticism draws a ton of fouls. 
And what's your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Warriors? You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Free throw, good. Giannis. Yeah, Ana de Kumpo has really learned how to get himself to the foul line. It's one of the easiest ways to score the ball. He gets to the strike at a higher clip with each passing year. And both free throws good for Giannis. Well, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunities. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And a wise move to call timeout there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover numbers. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. He told them they have to keep fighting. He said, hey, look, we're right here. But we can't make mistakes. You got to be aggressive and smart. Back to you guys. Looney kicks to Curry. Three pointer. Good D by Bloodsoe. Milwaukee's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Lopez. Matthews with it. Over Thompson. Offensive rebound. And to Takumbo. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. Thompson passes to Wiggins. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Giannis. You know, he's just chucking it up from distance this quarter. If you're going to do this, especially in the second half, you better make him. Lonzo finds Giannis. A shot by Middleton. Wide open. Milwaukee the rebound. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Down low. Here's Looney. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists in the game. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. On the wing, Wiggins. Pass to Looney. Thompson outside. Outside Curry. Rebounded by the Bucks. Giannis has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Thompson against Matthews. In the corner, Middleton with it. The Warriors pull it in. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. That those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Curry's open. Curry against Bloodsoe. Curry can't get it to go. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that Draymond Green is one of the more unique players in the league. There really isn't anyone else like Draymond. I mean, who does everything for a team but score? I mean, not only can he play all positions on both ends of the floor, but also to be the emotional leader, truly a special player.
That one drops. He ties it up. Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. No good on the second free throw. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Anadokounmpo kicks to Middleton. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. And the Bucks lead by three. The obvious work ethic of Middleton on full display there. I mean, the quick release off the pass, which leaves the defense without much to do. From deep. Warriors getting another chance here. Here's Looney. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Middleton. And it's the Bucks on the break. The shot by Bledsoe. Nobody around. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Curry way outside. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Bucks leading by three. It's stolen by Green. Giannis against Curry. Green passes to Looney. Back to Green. Thompson for three. Eric Bledsoe grabs the miss. Bledsoe's got his fourth rebound in this one. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. The drive by Green, and Green slams it in. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. And stolen by Wiggins. Here's Looney. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Timeout called the Bucks. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. I mean, he continues to burn them with his scoring. The coaching staff's going to have to come up with a different approach defensively. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Steph Curry. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. They trail by one. Middleton finds Bledsoe. And he can't bank that one in. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice to assist him. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. Bucks trail by four. Giannis with it. Looking to end the run. It's good. Giannis has got 12 points now in the quarter. He has been so big here in the fourth quarter. Five of six from the field. Curry passes to Thompson. And the rejection by Giannis. On the wing, Thompson. It's three outside. No good that time. Excellent D there from Bledsoe. Milwaukee's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Stepping up as a leader there. It's clear Bledsoe takes a lot of pride in capitalizing in critical moments. The pass to Thompson. Curry against Middleton. Five to shoot. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. A three-pointer, no good. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. 
And Zo onto the Kumbo looking over it. Let's go left side for three. Unable to get that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Curry on the wing. Guarded by Bloodsoe. Thompson passes to Green. Shoots over Matthews. And Green gets it to go. The defense just too soft on that possession. You have to be closer and contest at the rim. The Bucks trail. We've got 148 left here in the fourth quarter. Bledsoe kicks to Lopez. For three, Middleton. A three-pointer is right on target. Middleton's got six here in this quarter. Persistence pays for Middleton commanding the ball and really demonstrating why his teammates trust him in these moments. Curry passes to Looney. On the wing, Wiggins. Lets it fly from 18. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Good on the three-point shot. And now a four-point Bucks lead. Patience is a virtue. And Chris Middleton, virtuous. Curry against Bloodsoe. Passes it to Thompson. Shoots over Matthews. Thompson misses. And it's the Bucks ball. They're on a 10-2 run here. Matthews dishes the blood cell. And he uses the glass on the layup. And the Bucks lead by six. That is the killer instinct of Eric Bledsoe. When the game is up for grabs, he seizes it by the three. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Pass to Green. Now Thompson covered by Giannis. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And he's an assassin from long range. With his size and quick release, coupled with the consistency, Thompson is a very hard man to guard beyond the arc. Bounce pass from Bloodsoe. Fade away. Offensive rebound. Lopez. And Looney sends it back. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Here's Giannis. It's in. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're trailing by five. Fifteen seconds left in the game. It's Curry outside. Count it. And he has brought them to within two points. Well, I tell you what, Steph Curry, somebody lit a fire under him. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. First, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a four-point ball game. Unflappable. This guy relishes being the man to put the game away. Timeout called the Warriors. They're behind by four. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Yeah, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not... Waste too much time at all. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And the Warriors miss again. 
And so it's the Bucks who come out on top here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.